360s near the ridge can be very dangerous, but you can continue to go if you wish. Turn him right. Identify James as a white glider, trailing edge, blue leading edge behind you. There we are. Get into the thermal because he'll, he'll push you out basically. See that glider? Now you're going back into it, James. Going back into the thermal, you've got to stay in there. Visually map out what the thermal looks like. That's it, James. Keep it going. Got to work out where you're going to be so when you're at 12 o'clock you'll be at six o'clock in 10 15 seconds and so on keep looking over your left shoulder as you do this so you know what's behind you that's enough turns now james what you have to decide now is you can see out front did chris chris has got a bit more height than you is there any thermal out front that's what we need to see no i just see gray and horrible for a bank holiday yuck at this point you're going to enter what's called ridge lift, ridge soaring people. Don't 360 this environment please. James, look at the big birdie out the front. The big thermal is forming and Chris is directly above you. Did he do alright? Yeah, he did alright, yeah. Airmanship good? Yeah, airmanship was fine. Yeah. You, I, I don't know how far, but the thermal oh, out there. I was near the cricket pitch, but I mean, there was a bird there, but we, we didn't make it. He, the bird wasn't doing a great deal and uh, flew off when we got there and it was nothing but sink. So it was a do or die. It could have worked out, could have, might not have done. But then next time, when it does work out. <laughs> Are you back from Go, everyone? I'm back. Yeah, I'll put a picture in here of Dorian on the beach. Edward, yeah, sorry. Bagel see sandwich. This is James. He's had a good I've flight. James. James. Hi. Yeah, hello. Good, you're there. Hello. Neville, yeah. you two are just going to tell us about Devil's Diet and the weather conditions today. Go. Now, come on. It's okay, southwest, about 8 to 10. It's southwest? Uh, northwest at the moment. Sorry, northwest rather. You said sea breeze on the so WhatsApp. So, so look, when I first, I first came here. What time does sea breeze come through, Neville? Uh, later than that. Like oh, yeah? One o'clock lunchtime. So yeah. uh, okay, we'll go through that. Tell me about the conditions now then, because I'm watching people up there. Yeah. Flying in, what, what is it? Tell me. So cold air, looks quite thermic, yeah, rising, thermic. rising air, high pressure day. How much is the pressure today? Uh, it's 10 14, I think. 10 14, what can you tell us, James? Uh, I don't know. Okay, here's Franco, who's a more experienced pilot, he'll tell you <laughs> okay. what he knows. So, uh, cloud base is rising. Good. It's a lot of sink. There's a lot of sink. As this well. is the bit I wanted to talk to you about. There's a lot of sink. Yes. Um, Tell me why you're not out of the van flying. I'm hoping, I'm waiting for the cloud base to rise. Rise, that's the important So bit. I can go over the back country. Yeah. So the forecast today is, I think, is three and a half grand. Yeah, that's good. So you've looked, okay, this is the information I want. So the forecast that you've looked at, three and a half grand, one sec, pause. Did you look at cloud base before coming I didn't, out? No, no. no. I didn't. Did you set a cross country path? Neville did. I did. Yeah. On RTV, good. Yeah. Knowing your cloud base is quite yeah. important. Yeah, that's Zorin, Franco. Where did he come from, did you say? London? No, he comes from Brighton. It's about four and a half miles away. What, and he's there late? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Hey, Zorin! It's 9.45 it's or something then. Hi, James. Oh, where are you going? James, look around. Hands up and go forward. Come on. James, your head's not turning. That's it. Airspeed. Go out front. That's it. Break it hard. Break it hard. Cause there we go. Ease up on the brakes and in your own time just take off. Dave is at the top and I have a video online actually. It's very similar to this but it's a competition. So this is Devil's Diet. Students have asked to be stand down. They're all post CP. Neville, you interested in going up in that? No. Thank you. Good answer. We'll, we won't concentrate on there. We want you to look more out here now for the next thermal. If you get a thermal over here, you three can fly in it. If you launched, Zorin, would you stay up? No, would I have stayed up on one of the Oh, ones? I see. Well, you would have, but you would have had to play with the others, and I don't think that's a very practical thing to do. You would have had to get in there and fly with the others. You won't like that. So, Chris <laughs> Hover's up there. Nice one, Chris. You went over there. Got into your rising air. Hopefully, hopefully, Chris, this time you've left the uh, lens cap off. Last time you had the lens cap on when he did this. Um, Zorin didn't go because uh, you're too busy talking to me. Zorin. And go, Tim, do you think he should have gone? Absolutely, yeah. Great opportunity, and he missed opportunity. it. Opportunity, opportunity. And I think you were told about it before it actually came. Who, t who told him? I that? think you did, Rob. Yeah. And, I'm and, too busy looking for imaginary birds. <laughs> it's the Hover. 
XC today? No. No XC? Sister's birthday, got to go for dinner. Good point. Just don't tell the answer to this, but do you know what an AIAA is? Yes. And do you know there's one near here? Is there? Ah. Oh. There is, yeah. I bet you know where it is, don't you, James? Nope. Because there are two Jameses today. Yeah, right, yeah. JT, let's go. Let's get the wing up. Oh, JT. Good and steady. They serve, serve everything and anything. It's difficult to. Airspeed. A bit more airspeed. Go on. You can just. That's it, John. Go on, James. Look over your left shoulder. Look at, so you know what's behind. And keep going right because you can always land on top. Get that glider above your head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, compose yourself. Okay, James, I'll just see the other James off. He's in the air now. James is looking. Sorry. Book in Monday, come in Monday. No, don't slow the glider down. You'll be alright, John. Slow down there, John. That's it. Okay, you just like the high, don't you? There you go. His mum's worried about him, so. Uh, he's in my care, which makes makes my uh, day a little bit more. Um, he's a, ni a nice guy, is James up there, but he's 25, so he's young. And never underestimate this sport because too, too many of my students are buying these wings. What's going on? And he's off. take you know a couple of years the whole purpose of this exercise is to get them to understand to be more precise with the gliders rather than going left and right no aircraft coming into land should go left and right come on james oh where have you been i'm going to get you up. aren't you going to go back up and fly with the others <laughs> you be careful on these trees here john look to the right so here we are at high and over there's james oh, i don't know it's five six o'clock or something john's just gone over there q's just gone home uh, james tran has left also and we got a nice evening airflow. Hey James, what was that you just said? Just wondering where James went. James Tran, he's gone home. He left just as it just as it got good. Yeah, he's got family commitments and you know responsibilities, James. How long did you fly for? An hour and fifteen minutes. Hour and fifteen minutes, JT. I'm not rubbing it in, I'm sorry I shouldn't say things. <laughs>